Hi. Um, I wanted to give you the definition of terrorism. I'm going to go to two just separate sites. Uh, terrorism, the systematic use of violence to create a general climate of fear in a population and thereby to bring about a particular political objective. Terrorism has been practiced by political organizations with both rightist and leftist objectives, by nationalist and religious groups, by revolutionaries, and even by state institutions such as armies, intelligence service, and police. That's one definition. Go to another one. I'll leave these in the links. Terrorism. The use of violent acts to frighten the people in an area as a way of trying to achieve a political goal. As we all wanted the government to shut down, and when we meant shut down, their salaries be cut off, and those who were in that position in Washington, D.C. to do their job and start play, stop playing these games, what they have actually done is sanctioned America. They are taking food away from the WIC program. My son and his wife could not get their wick this month, October. Also, I hear that Social Security, which is not a tax, by the way, most of us have always paid into that. Um, it's supposed to be a lockbox fund. They're going to cut off those checks, so that means they're thieves and liars. The food stamp program, I would much rather fund food and not use food as a weapon to any person in this world. Um, they're going to cut that off, I understand, or they're saying or threatening to. Those threats right there are, as a, just those threats right there is an act of terrorism. Now, I am going to support, and I will, I've always supported, the truckers. Now, I'm hearing the, the veterans and bikers are joining in on the 11th through the 13th of October. They're going to descend upon Washington, D.C., I suggest that these senators and representatives get their act in order along with that CEO up there. The, but I want to tell you the biggest, to me, the biggest act of terrorism is the Affordable Care Act, which fines you and penalizes you if you can't afford it and forces you to buy something you may not want. That is an act of terrorism because it is fearing the people. It is also enslaving us more. Now what we need to do is make this video viral or make your own on these definitions and what you think our government and how it applies to them. I will leave the two links to the definition of terrorism. You tell me whether or not you think the government are terrorists. And if so, should we negotiate with the terrorists? Or is it time to go back to the basics where we understand what's going on and I don't even mean to use that word understand because I stand under no one where we can at least know what is going on and nothing is behind the private closed doors or out on the golf courses on our, our backs. The, everything is paid for by us. There are airplane flights everywhere they go, the food they eat, everyone who sits in DC gets paid till they die. These, these things need to end and the United States like I said we the people have now been sanctioned like we do to other countries. You never use food as a weapon. And this is just kind of a Native American perspective, but I would like to know your thoughts on this. Peace, love, and truth always. And tell me what you think. And make your own videos.